welcome. First of all, hello. Good to see you again. Hello, Aaron. Nice I to see you. I think it's about five years ago I Good. sat in your office and uh, you said you were thinking about running for president then. And uh, you, you didn't run then, but man, are you I should running? have done it. We would have had Obama for four years instead of for eight years. Right, right. right? Well, man, are you running now? I am running. Yes. I am running. And, Actually, and, this may be better timing for me if you want to know. Right. And, and you've made a lot of statements uh, about a lot of issues and covered a lot of ground in, right. in a very short period of time. W one statement you made, I I'm really having trouble getting over, okay. frankly, and I want to ask you about it. Sure. Um, as a matter of fact, when I was watching the debate and you made this statement, I had to apologize to my children for the words that came out of my mouth when you said what you said. And that was, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, so correct me Go if ahead. I'm wrong. Sure. When you said that George W. Bush, which was our last Republican president, uh, a man I respect greatly, uh, a person that we really fought for when he was up against a lot of pressure, that, that he lied to get us in the war in Iraq. That, that, that stung me very deeply. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that. I, I'm just okay. wondering, given some time passing, perhaps you've rethought that. Would you be willing to rethink that? Well, a lot of people agree with what I said, and it, I'm not talking about lying. I'm not talking about not lying. Nobody really knows why we went into Iraq. Uh, the Iraqis did not knock down. It was not Saddam Hussein that knocked down the World Trade Center. Okay, well, that's just what you said was they lied. They said there were weapons of mass destruction, and there were none, and they knew there were none. There were no weapons of mass destruction. Well, there are a lot of people that think that. There were a lot of people that think, look, bottom line, there were no weapons of mass destruction. They said there are weapons of mass destruction. I was so, against so the war think, when it started. Do you think the president of the United States, George W. Bush, lied Well, look, to I'm not going to get you a vote, but that's okay. Let, I, let me just I'm just giving you another let me, shot Let me tell you something. I'll tell you very simply. It w may have been the worst decision going into Iraq, may have been the worst decision anybody has made, any president has made in the history of this country. That's how bad it is, okay? The migration that you see today, the destruction of Europe with Angela Merkel allowing, you know, millions of people coming into Germany. I have people from Germany. They want to leave Germany. These are people two years ago that would, could do nothing but talk about how they love their country, Germany. They're going to leave Germany. Many, many people are leaving Germany. You're going to end up with big problems in Germany. Uh, you look at Sweden the other day. You look at Brussels. I was in Brussels years ago. It's one of the most beautiful places. Now it's like an armed camp. It's so crazy what they've done. All of this is, the, the, everything that's happening started with stupidly going into the war in Iraq. Now, Iraq, we have... And, and people talk about me with the button. I'm the one that doesn't want to do this, okay? And I'm the one from 2002, 2003, said you shouldn't be doing it. Here's, here's what happens. We have spent $2 trillion in Iraq, in fighting Iraq. $2 trillion. $2 trillion. Thousands of lives, right? We have wounded warriors who I love all over the place. These are the most incredible. These are braver than all of us in this room put together. I look at the attitude, and I work with them, and these are great people. We got nothing. We have nothing. We're not even there. We can't even make a phone call right now. But to his question, I, I'm trying believe, to separate. I I, yeah. I, I, let me tell you. Do, do I you know? Do you believe he lied or did okay. he? Well, I can tell you this. I can. I don't. Whether he lied or not, he went into Iraq. It was a horrible decision. Okay, and Iraq did not knock down the World Trade Center. Where did these people go when they got on the airplanes? You know where they went? Do you know where they went? They went. A lot of them went to Saudi Arabia. Okay, they didn't go back to Iraq. They went to Saudi Arabia. Now. There are sealed documents right now that nobody wants to allow it to be open that talk very much about the subject. I'd like to see what it says. I will say this. Bush felt very shunned. Saddam Hussein overplayed his hand because he was, you know, he, senior Bush did the right thing. He knocked the heck out of him and then he pulled back, okay? He didn't get into the quagmire. And that was okay to do. The problem is Saddam Hussein said, I drove them back. I drove the Americans back. He really overplayed his hand. And frankly, I think the son, being loyal to the father, I think he really wanted to go into Iraq, even if it wasn't the right thing to do. He went into Iraq. He started something that it destroyed the Middle East. And I said, don't go in because you're going to ruin the balance in the Middle East. You're going to have a total imbalance. You're going to have Iran taking over Iraq. Everything I said turned out to be true. Iran is now taking over Iraq. So, and they wanted to do it for years and years and years. They're going to walk in. So not only do we make a horrible, horrible deal where we're giving Iran $150 billion, we got nothing for it, we get our prisoners back, they should have been given back to us three years ago, four years ago, we shouldn't have even started negotiating until we got our prisoners back, and we would have had it that way. But here's the problem. So we make all bad deals. The I war in Iraq started the whole destabilization of the Middle East. It started ISIS, it started uh, Libya, it started Syria. 
That was one of the worst decisions ever made by any government at any time. In all fairness, Bush made the decision. Just one thing. And Barack Obama, Barack Obama, as bad as he is, and he's bad, but he got us out the wrong way. He should have left people there, and he should have done it differently, and he shouldn't have said, we're getting out at a specific time. He gave a specific date, as you know, to get out. So bad. So bad. Just to his question, I'll go one more chance. Either you believe he either lied or did not lie. Are you willing to say what? I don't know what he did. I just know it was a terrible mistake. So was it a mistake for you to say in that debate that you thought he lied? Uh, I'd have to see the exact word. Look, I don't know. I would probably say that something was going on. I, I don't know why he went in. I don't know why he went in. Because, honestly, there was no reason to go in. They didn't knock down the World Trade Center. It was an Iraq that knocked it down. So you would not say again that George W. Bush lied? I don't know. I can't tell you. I mean, I'd have to look at some documents. Okay, on. Um, I literally was just handed this. There's a report now out tonight on BuzzFeed that includes, I have not heard it, it includes an audio clip of what appears to be you on Howard Stern talking on the radio on September 11th, 2002. He asked you, are you for invading Iraq? You said, yeah, I guess so. You know, I wish the first time it was done correctly. Is that accurate? Do you remember saying that? No, but I mean, I could, I could have said that. Nobody asked me. I wasn't a politician. It was probably the first time anybody asked me that question. But, does that but by the time the war started, that was quite a bit before Yeah, this the was 2002. Yeah, by the time the war started, uh, I was uh, against the war. And there were articles, I mean, there are headlines in 2003, 2004 that I was totally against the war. And actually, a couple of people in your world, in terms of the pundit, said, you know, there's definite proof in 2003, 2004, Trump was against well, it. Well, 2004, so, there's even a Reuters article, which you pointed to a lot, and there were right. a couple of comments you made, I think, at a Vanity Fair party, right. uh, and what other comment. Those were, I think, a couple of weeks after the war began. When which is okay. A lot of people said, you know, it was so early that even if it was a little bit after the war, I mean, he was totally against the war. I was very much against it. And that was probably the first time I was ever even asked about the war. Uh, Howard, who's a great guy, by the way, a lot of people don't understand that, but he is Howard. It's a great he's, interview. He's, he's, a great, he's a great interviewer. He's yeah. a very talented guy and a good guy. But uh, that was probably the first time, I don't remember that, but it was probably the first time I was asked about it. Okay. You know, Again, I haven't heard the, of it, when but you're you in may the have said sector, this. Yeah, I may have. Well, when you're in the private sector, you know, you get asked things and, you know, you're not a politician. And probably the first time I was asked, by the time the war started, I was against it. And uh, shortly thereafter, I was really against it.